Let's play game, Luna game two. The um, the fact that this is a spooky game is sort of obvious at this point. At least if you've heard of the first one. So it's gonna try even harder to be lame scare game. This game has improved in some ways. Um, it's improved a lot considering how amazingly short it still is. Uh, for one thing, you can actually control the character. Um, some people could control the first one. I'm not sure my it didn't work on my machine, but I can walk around. There's a run button. Um, it's pretty pointless, but if you notice, the ground keeps cracking as time goes on. It gives it a very aversion feel. Um, there are definitely some... I really like a lot of what this game does relative to the first, even though it's still about a minute long, a minute or two. But look, it's cracking. You know something's going to happen. It's kind of obvious. So, something gonna happen? See, look, it's all cracky and, uh, kinda reddish. Spooky! Spooky! Spooky. That's better. I really like that the character slows down. That's a really nice touch. The... I like the creepy alternate world. It reminds me a lot of Monster Party. Um, halfway through the, the first level in Monster Party, everything turns spooky as all hell. It's like legitimately spooky instead of the rest of the game, which is actually really lame. So I would love to see a game more like that. The, you know, the second... Look up Monster Party if you haven't. It's got this one part in the end of the first level that everything's all spooky and hellish. You know, after looking all innocent and, like, play spooky, then it turns to, like, real horror stuff. Considering it was 8-bit, but still... And, uh, let's turn this up a little. The music's a bit spookier now. Uh, someone said from the last one the music they use are, uh, some remix tracks from the actual My Little Pony show, so... It's all spooky if hard. It's really low and slow. Brrr. Spooky. The game is also a lot spookier if you don't hear me making fun of it the entire time, but, uh... There'll be a link in the description, of course. Um, probably should have said that first. If you want to experience it, you know, properly, you really shouldn't have someone making fun of it the whole time. And look! Can we make that jump? Knowing full well we can't. We I do like that she, she kind of flaps her wings. <clears throat> the Luna sprite is much, much better this time. Feels like something that might actually be in a okay game. Big Pit, be get, be get the point here. Big Pit, fade to blackness, dun dun dun. Dun dun, still dun dun dun. There you go, you died. Boom is all falling. It's all spooky and sad like, oh no. Nice. And spooky music. Probably kinda loud, but it's supposed to be. Though I don't approve of the, the loud static blare when that first, um, sp spooky picture shows up. It's pretty much the generic screamer crap where it tries to startle you with generic loud noise. But the actual, um, what I would look to is Monster Party and Eversion. Those are some platformer games that really kept actual creepy stuff in them, and... They managed to be really creepy without just being like, Oh look, it's a screamer! Okay, that's the end of the game. Which was very literally what the first game was, unfortunately. The first Luna game. But I would look forward to seeing, like, a real horror game made out of this. And it's over. Yeah, you can't move your mouse and shit while it's doing that. You can kill it using the task manager, but I didn't bother. It's also only in full screen. Which, you know, helps keep the atmosphere, just makes recording a little bit annoying. But, here you can see my rarity wallpaper. But anyway, this is Luna Game 2. Link in the description.